If you are spending money on Amazon ads, you might have noticed that when your ad campaigns do well, it also affects your organic traffic. This happens because there's a natural connection between organic and paid Amazon performance. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at SellerApp and today we'll explore how Amazon advertising impacts the organic ranking and why it's crucial for you to have a smart strategy for both. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you are ready to take your Amazon selling game up a notch, let's get started. Amazon PPC plays a key role in boosting your product's visibility and sales on the platform. When a product gets more sales through advertising, Amazon helps improve its organic ranking. The ranking is influenced by the combination of increased visibility, sales and sales velocity from both paid ads and organic sales. Now here are the key factors in PPC campaigns that affect organic rankings the most. First is keyword targeting. Amazon assesses how relevant a searched keyword is to a product. If the relevance is high, the product may be considered for advertisement placements related to that keyword. This is also when Amazon indexes the keyword. Impressions and top of search impressions. If an ad doesn't get enough impressions, it may not reach its target audience, making other metrics like click-through rate and conversion rate less meaningful. More impressions increase the chances of getting clicks and conversions, both of which influence the organic rankings. Top of search refers to ads on page one of the Amazon search results, providing higher visibility and more clicks. Next is click-through rate. Now, CTR shows how many clicks an ad gets compared to its impressions. A high CTR means how more users find the ad relevant, leading to more clicks. The A9 algorithm favors the products with a high CTR as they are seen as more relevant to user queries. However, a high click rate with fewer conversions indicates the need for optimization. Next is conversion rate. It is the percentage of users who buy a product after you clicking on the ad. Now, higher conversion rates boosts the sales, positively impacting the product's organic ranking on Amazon. A high conversion rate signals that the product is desirable and reinforces its organic appearance. A well-optimized PPC ad aligned with user intent and clear product details uh, significantly boosts the conversion rate. Next is ad type. Amazon PPC has three ad types, sponsor products, sponsor brands, and sponsor display. Each type contributes to a comprehensive strategy across the shopping funnel. Sponsored products aim to drive sales for individual listings, sponsored brands enhance brand visibility, and sponsored display affects the entire shopping journey, potentially leading to repeated sales and improved organic ranks. Next is ad positioning. When an ad appears on the search results page, it's crucial for its effectiveness. Top positions gain more exposure and attract more clicks. Achieving such visibility requires competitive bids and careful ad optimization, leading to better organic rankings. Ads higher on the page are more likely to be clicked, translating into higher sales volume. Consistent sales from a well-positioned ad can boost a product's organic ranking over time, as Amazon's algorithm favors products with steady sales performance. So by focusing on these elements, you can create effective PPC campaigns that not only drive immediate sales, but also enhances your product's organic rankings over time. Now, the next question that comes to our mind is, how fast can PPC boost organic visibility? You can typically start noticing changes in organic visibility within 7 to 14 days after launching PPC campaigns, but the speed depends on several factors. First is budget. Your campaign's budget sets the amount you are willing to spend daily. 
a higher budget allows for more aggressive strategies, significantly increasing the number of times your ad is shown. Sellers often boost budgets for product launches or before special events to enhance visibility, improving the chances of driving more sales and enhancing the organic visibility. Second is bid strategy. Amazon provides various bid strategies like dynamic bids, up and down, and fixed bids. The strategy you choose affects how aggressively your ad competes in the auctions. A more aggressive bid strategy can speed up visibility improvements but may use up the budget more quickly. Next is competition. The competitiveness of your product in the market influences how quickly your campaigns affect the organic rankings. In highly competitive markets, it takes longer for PPC campaigns to significantly impact the rankings due to larger number of competing products and ads. Next is category niche. Our different product categories on Amazon have varying levels of saturation. PPC campaigns in less crowded niches uh, might show quicker gains in organic visibility compared to those in densely populated categories. Marketplace. Amazon operates in different regional marketplaces, each with its unique dynamics. The effectiveness of a PPC campaign may vary between, for instance, Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk based on uh, the consumer behavior and even the market saturation. While PPC campaigns have the potential to swiftly influence the organic visibility, the actual speed depends on multiple factors. So keeping an eye on the campaign performance data and making adjustments can help maximize their impact on the organic rankings. You can make your PPC campaigns work specifically to improve the organic keyword ranking. However, it's important to set up your listing correctly so that both PPC and organic SEO can work together. Now, basic steps for these are keyword research. The foundation of a successful PPC campaign is thorough keyword research. This involves finding the most relevant keywords that potential buyers use to search for the product similar to what the sellers offer. Now you can identify high performing keywords and add them to your product listings easily with seller apps keyword research tool. Now let me show you how on the seller app platform navigate to the keyword tool. Under this we have two sub features. First is keyword research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering table lamp. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find tags against these keywords. So they depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. For gaining that initial visibility, start with seed keywords and add phrase or broad match type keywords. Later, add long tail keywords to boost conversions. Now, to find out the competitor keyword strategies, the reverse ASIN tool comes into picture. Here, you can compare your ASIN with your competitor's ASIN. I've added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitor ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitor's ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate all of these keywords. Now this is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. If you consider this example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and good conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. So this means that this keyword is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon search. You can add these keywords in the backend search terms to get your product indexed for these keywords. Now, optimize product listings is the next one. Once you have gathered keyword data from PPC campaigns, it's crucial to optimize your product listings accordingly. This means incorporating those keywords into product titles, descriptions, and backend search terms. 
An optimized listing not only improves uh, the PPC performance, but also boosts the visibility in organic searches. Enhanced brand content and visuals. Now, high quality images and A plus content are essential in supporting the keyword optimization. Clear professional images and a well designed brand store convey trustworthiness and professionalism. This immersive experience helps potential customers visualize the product effectively, directly impacting the conversion rates. Emphasis on the sponsored product. You should start by putting your main focus on sponsored product campaigns. Now, these campaigns target specific keywords directly, are cost effective and have a direct impact on the organic rankings. Concentrating on single keyword campaigns for top performing keywords can be beneficial. For example, if a seller's product is a stainless steel coffee mug, they might dedicate a campaign specifically to target just that keyword. Sellers can be more assertive here by adjusting their budgets and using a top of search modifier. They can choose the match type as exact and set a fixed bid amount. Next is long tail keyword campaigns. In addition to primary keywords, you can benefit from using long tail keywords. For example, uh, along with stainless steel coffee mug, a seller might also target insulated stainless steel travel coffee mug. Creating separate campaigns for these long tail keywords ensures they get dedicated attention and budget allocation. Sellers should target relevant keywords in distinct campaigns for efficient management and a clear view of keyword performance. Product targeting for improved ranking. You can enhance your strategy by using product targeting within the sponsored product campaigns. This allows you to directly target specific products or categories on Amazon, especially beneficial for products in competitive niches. Sponsored brand and sponsored display campaigns. Now, while sponsored product campaigns are the primary focus, sponsored brand and sponsored display campaigns can offer additional visibility. However, caution is needed as these campaigns tend to be more expensive. You should use sponsored brands and sponsored display campaigns strategically, perhaps targeting the high value keywords or even promoting the brand awareness during the product launches. It's crucial for you to understand how PPC impacts the organic rankings. To effectively track this relationship, you can use these simple methods. Firstly, total advertising cost of sale. Now, tacos is a metric that shows how advertising spend relates to total revenue. It gives a comprehensive view of how PPC is influencing the overall sales. If tacos decreases while overall revenue increases, it may suggest that the organic sales are growing alongside ad sales, indicating a positive connection between the PPC campaigns and the organic rankings. Monitoring tacos over time helps sellers gauge how their advertising efforts contribute to organic growth. Second is regular comparison of paid and organic sales. By regularly comparing paid sales with the organic sales, sellers can understand the impact of PPC on the organic rankings. If organic sales increases while maintaining or scaling the PPC efforts, it suggests that the PPC campaign plays a role in boosting the organic visibility and conversions. Regularly keeping track of these metrics and making comparisons provides sellers with practical insights into how their PPC campaigns affect the organic rankings. So this data-driven approach allows sellers to refine their marketing strategies, striking a balance between paid advertising and organic growth to maximize their return on investment on the Amazon platform. Now let's look into the interesting part, essential tools and practices for continuous optimization. It is important for you to use tools like SellerApp to get the most out of PPC, which includes the performance analytics for tracking and improving your ad performance, keyword research, identifying the high ranking keywords to target, bid optimization, AI and rule based systems for bid management. Next comes day parting. 
adjusting budgets to align with peak uh, customer activity hours. Next is spend management, tools to reduce wasteful ad spend, ad management, streamlining the process of keyword building and even the ad placements. Also, best practices for continuous optimization are regular performance review, analyze the PPC data to identify trends, successful keywords and areas for improvement, dynamic keyword refinement, continually add new keywords and negate non-performing ones to improve the campaign relevancy and efficiency, re-optimize SEO monthly, New keywords can show up over time or search term volume can fluctuate according to the seasonality. Being aware of this allows a seller to adjust their PPC strategy and capitalize on more sales. A-B testing tests different aspects of ads to find the most effective elements that lead to conversions. Sellers can test many different things on PPC, for example, sponsored brand creatives and ad copy, Top of search modifiers on keyword campaigns, product page modifiers on the campaigns, testing the effect of different dynamic bidding strategies and even the match types. In conclusion, Amazon PPC plays a crucial role in boosting the organic product rankings. It does this by strategically targeting the keywords and speeding up your sales. Sales generated through PPC are vital for increasing the organic visibility because one usually can't improve without the other. Conversely, if organic SEO isn't optimized, PPC won't work as effectively as it's responsible for the product's visibility on Amazon. And if you need help getting started on optimizing your Amazon PPC, don't hesitate to reach out to our PPC experts on support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salara. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And if you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. As always, happy selling.